Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful, divine, feminine, divine, masculine energies. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for the collective energy. I will you all are enjoying your strong end. You're going to have a nice little three-day weekend. Get your little groove on, barbecue, do some skewers, whatever. Just enjoy yourself. I'm enjoying mine. On my side of the planet, everything is everything. It has been a very busy, busy time for me. Um, you know, school just started and I am homeschooling my son. So it's like I'm getting very involved and in depth and, you know, um, so that's going on. It's, it's just been a very busy week. So that's why I haven't been able to pump out, you know, those readings. So that's why I'm doing this joint venture of the yin and yang energy with this reading here. I will you all are blissed, feeling healthy, strong. I will all is wonderful in your world. Um, I hope you all are preparing for Mercury Retrograde, which is this upcoming Friday. Um, so remember the rules of Met Mercury Retrograde. Uh, you know, stay, you know, stay alert, stay aware. Uh, remember, don't sign any major contracts and, you know, don't, don't, um, just be all open when new folks, you know, old folks pop back up on the grid um, because it is the effects of Mercury retrograde. Also, with your communication, be sure to think before you speak and not just respond to what has been said. So give yourselves time to think before you even speak because there could be a lot of miscommunication at this time. Um, for anyone that may be new, I welcome you all to the channel. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Um, I definitely, uh, will that you all, uh, receive a message here that resonates with you today. Um, if you are returning beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, a little bit about me. If you are new, my name is Q. Um, I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings and it definitely correlates beautifully with what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out with the tarot cards. Um, right now we have a tribe called Quest and the name of this song is called Butter. Um, and this is from the low end theory. Um, so butter back in the days in the nineties, um, I'm a New York girl, a BX girl. And when we said butter, it was like, oh, that's butter. That's like, that's dope. You know, that's, that's cool. That's fly. You know, um, I also feel like there's, there's this element of things becoming smooth. Like, you know, everything is move. It's running smoothly. I feel like you've, you've like worked out the kinks, you know, so now it's just smooth as butter. It's just, you know, um, it's like you putting in that hard work and now things are running smoothly for you. Maybe there was a bumpy ride. Maybe things was really like, um, really turbulent is what I'm picking up, but now things are smooth, you know? Uh, so it's like you worked out those fine, you know, those little kinks, um, some of you all, I'm hearing that you all may be, um, you know, making like body butter. Some of you all could be doing uh, body butters, like concocting, like the, um, you know, they have the mousse body butter. So I'm seeing someone like whipping up body butter, um, you know, just testing out different essential oils, um, really learning um, the craft. Like I see someone really busy. Um, and you setting up shop like you, so you're really serious about like your body butter and your skincare line. I hear skincare. Uh, some of you all could be, um, mastering your craft in that regard, learning all you can about essential oils, uh, learning about, you know, some of the, um, you know, some of the qualities of the oils that you're working with, you know, what, what type of, um, positive effects does it have on, you know, on, you know, on your, your clientele. So you may be looking into like, you know, the, the, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Is the word, uh, uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Give me one moment. My apologies. It was properties. So you may be looking and researching, you know, um, 
what the properties are of certain essential oils. Um, you could be incorporating, I'm hearing like uh, shea butter um, into your your mousse body butter. So it's like someone is really like, you know, becoming that alchemist, you know, creating uh, something. So this is like that entrepreneurial energy I'm picking up on. Um, but I also just feel a sense of things being very smooth right now. Like you got out of the turbulence um, and you're feeling better. You know, you're feeling a lot better. Um, we have main source here. And the name of this song is um, Breaking Atoms. Um, so I do feel like, you know, you, you all are like changing the game. You know, I'm hearing like you're revolutionizing something. You're doing something different. You know, it's like it's 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 different from the rest. So whatever it is you're mastering, it's like you're making it. Um, it's very important for you to stand out from the rest. So like I said, you're not just making regular bottom body butter. Uh, some of you all are like whipping it, making it like whipped like a mousse. Um, and you're adding essential oils. You're adding other um, holistic ingredients um, so that, you know, it can have a positive effect on your clientele, you know, so that it can really like, you know, you want people who are suffering from like, say, for instance, like eczema it's like you're adding ingredients that could clear that up um and it's just and the, my phone just chimed so someone out there is doing that so um this is a message I'm, I'm hearing this is um i'm hearing oh i'm sorry i just got a message and i'm just trying to listen yeah so i'm hearing that uh somebody is really like really focused on uh their skincare line. So that could be for some of you all. So let me continue on. Uh, but with Breaking Atoms, it's like, I just feel like you've revolutionized something. Um, you've defied the odds. You've changed the game. Um, you've changed people's perspective of you. You've even like surprised yourself, I'm hearing. Um, so there's like really dope energy I'm picking up uh, with you all. So I hear, um, I'm using the uh, Witch's Wisdom today. On the bottom of the deck, we have boundaries. So this boundaries is telling me that you are very um, focused. This is like you got your eyes on the prize. Um, you have cut off the things that no longer serve you. So just as I was picking up, it's like things are smoother because you got rid of the turbulence. You got rid of the negativity. You just got rid of the, you know, the dead weight. You know, um, I feel like you are going directly to source. Um, you know, source is... It's who you're getting your downloads from. You know, I just feel like you're super sharp right now. You're following your intuition. You're using discernment. It's like you have this awareness, you know, um, of, of what needs to be cut out, you know, and also what you need to implement. So it's like that's a dope energy to be in. Um, we have foundation, homeland. So I do feel like you all are rebuilding. Um, and I feel you're rebuilding because there has been, you know, tower moments um i feel like there's been some very uh turbulent circumstances as i mentioned um that you've had to learn and grow from and now that you've learned from them it's like you know better so this time around you're doing better i got a card that kind of dipped away so we got rebirth here so like i said there was a tower moment towers represent painful endings loss change um enormous change it, it it's like it's spirit stepping in to you know disrupt something that is toxic unhealthy um there could be a lot of um codependency negativity arguments conflict there's just energy that needs to be dispersed um or dis disseminated how do you say that like it needs to be dissolved thank you spirit and so spirit will strike the tower because there's a lot of things going on within that castle that is just there's there's a blind eye someone's not paying attention to the red flag so whatever that tower moment was it led to the rebirth it led to you transforming growing evolving 
from a situation. We have um, Notorious B.I.G. This says more money, more problems. And it is officially 111 on the clock. And I do want to show you this. This is from the life after death. And that's exactly what rebirth is, transformation is. So you see that 111. So definitely with that three, I do feel like there's been... Um, this transformation into the divine feminine uh the three deals with the empress three is also associated um you know i'm getting with the third chakra which is the solar plexus so this is about you know paying attention to how you feel paying attention to um the fact that some healing is needed um and as you do that healing you start to rejuvenate yourself your spirit your mind um, because you're taking the necessary steps to to change to confront your fears um, to evolve you know and it's producing results positive results because with this rebirth I feel like there's a sense that you are emerging someone brand new um, and that empress energy is really indicative of someone who's reached a level of self mastery 1111 on the clock is saying that there is uh, perhaps a divine masculine that could be coming in uh, because they're attracted to you. There's this strong attraction, this strong desire. Um, I see this fire here burning. Um, so this is like someone's feelings. Um, the, the flame hasn't gone out, you know. So whatever this is, I'm hearing twin flame energy. Look at that. I didn't even see this on the bottom of the deck. In, the, in my hand. This is what I'm speaking of. I'm like really expounding on the divine feminine energy. And here we have it, you know. So that 1111 is really telling me that there is a divine masculine um, that's coming in for the divine feminine and vice versa. If you're a divine masculine, there's a divine feminine that's coming in for you. Um, I definitely am sensing that there's an opportunity to resurrect or to rebuild, to reconcile, to heal to reconnect um, with more money, more problems, and life after death. I feel like maybe someone um, had to learn to manage their finances better. Uh, I was picking up a codependent relationship uh, in a tower um, moment. You know, there was a lot of codependencies. And so it led to someone going and doing their work. Um, the Empress represents self-mastery. She represents all of the uh, characteristics and um you know, she embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. So she is all of the queens in one. Um, and so that shows the personal growth. That shows the spiritual growth. That shows the awakening, the awareness, the ability to tap into the divinity to become the alchemist or the magi. You know, um, this is that energy of, you know, emerging uh, from difficulties someone knew 1313 is the number of the death card in traditional tarot which also represents transformation rebirth it's a, a very strong indicator that there's been a lot of pivots uh, shifts shifts not only in your physical realm aspect but also in your mental in your psyche you know um, 1313 uh, is telling me that you're mirroring someone else, uh, that divine masculine. So they've gone through a similar uh, encounter of having some sort of awakening, you know, uh, transforming from ex an experience, um, growing, um, and also becoming aware as to who uh, their divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, cosmic companion is. Uh, and it's because of the synergy. It's because of this burning flame, this burning desire. 1414 on the clock. Every time I look at the clock, I see another synchronicity. And that 1414 reduces to 5-5. Five, 5 Five deals with the Hierophant. So you're mirroring them in that regard. So that speaks to personal growth in regards to learning, studentship, sitting at the feet of the elders, going to a pastor, a master teacher, a Reiki healer, Reiki master, tarot healer, spiritualist, going to the feet of a shaman and learning from them. Maybe some of 
you all have gone on ayahuasca retreats. Some of you all have been doing, um, you know, cambo, like, and you're coming into this divine knowledge. Some of you take DMT psychedelics, um, and you have been like doing your dark night of the soul journey. Um, this is really an energy of studentship, learning, sitting, and and seeking higher knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of not only yourself but of the circumstances, the people around you, your journey, your purpose, your path. 1515 15 on the clock. So that's 6-6. Six, six. So that 6 deals with the first eye, using more discernment. 6 also deals with like the lovers in traditional tarot. So you could be dealing with, again, a form of love, someone you have... Um, you have chemistry with someone you have history with this could be a past life love this could be a love that you've bumped into in this reality in this lifetime but you haven't seen them in a while but the chemistry when you first met them was just so jarring so jarring that it led you to believe like there was something deeper there but maybe there was you know it was like a crossing of paths but never really you never took it to that next step. And so we have um, MC Light, Cha Cha Cha. So it's been this little song and dance, you know, with you two, you know, whoever this is. Maybe you guys bump into each other ever so often, uh, chop it up for a little bit, and then you kind of, you know, fade to black on each other. Um, but Cha Cha Cha, just I hear dance. So there's been a song and a dance, you know, with the two of you. Uh, and I just feel like the, div the divine timing was never the right timing. And I feel like that time is uh, resurfacing. It's like it's approaching again uh, for this union to take place. So we have um, this divine feminine and it says lady goddess. So whenever you see the lady goddess or the divine feminine, the empress, the emperor isn't too far behind. So I, da I guarantee that that emperor will show up um, with the 1313 that deals with the four and the four is um, the emperor. You know, the four deals with the emperor. Uh, four is also the heart chakra. So someone is absolutely uh, coming into this realization that they love you. Um, with MC Light, I feel like someone's had some sort of epiphany, an aha moment. Um, they've become illuminated. You know, they receive the clarity. They receive a download or a transmission, some sort of divine intervention, which led them to discover their feelings, their true feelings. Um, and I feel like it's because of, you know, the transformations you've been making. Um, it has triggered, activated your divine counterpart, and um, and their f burning desire is um, very evident here in this card. Um, their love for you has not died. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on for my divine feminine, divine masculine. Thank you, spirit. Prosperity, baby. This is the reward after the transformation, after the rebirth, after confronting your fears, after going through all of those karmic lessons after paying off karmic debts, this is what you receive in the end. And this comes straight from spirit. So this is like receiving a harvest, receiving an answered prayer. This is like wish fulfillment. This is like a job offer. This is like a pay increase. This is a promotion. This is a bonus. This is like you coming into some form of um, expansion financially. This is like blessings upon blessings. And it's because of the transformation. So it's like spirit is recognizing the work, the hard work, the hard efforts that you've put forth. You are divinely protected, beloveds. And I feel like there's this uh, protection, um, this very protective energy watching over you because you are the truth. Like you don't just talk the talk like you've really uh, you've really done the work. You know, when you see that rebirth card or transformation card or death card or the world card, those are indicators of the the active um, healing that's going on. You're proactive. You're you're actively listening to the cycles and the rhythms of your body. You're actively, you know, in tune and attuned with Mother Gaia with yourselves, your higher selves, and you are being obedient and you're transforming for the better. And that 1919 on the clock is 1010. So that definitely shows that there's been a very strong ending, a powerful ending, a painful loss, but you have emerged someone so much wiser, so much stronger, more grounded, more in equilibrium emotionally spiritually mentally 
And for that, it deserves a standing ovation. It deserves recognition from spirit. It deserves reward. Answered prayers. That's absolutely gorgeous. And you are protected because you've put in the work. I feel many of you have um, mastered your craft. So you all could be manifesting right now. You could be um, utilizing your imaginations to manifest. And we have Fife Dog. And this is called Let Me Find Out. So it's like you may have found out somebody was trying to, you know, manipulate your energy. You know, maybe you found out somebody was trying to throw something at you and it was returned to sender. And with that dog reference, Rising Power King, Five Dog. Um, but with that dog reference, I feel like this was someone you were loyal to. And because you was always, you know, very perpendicular in, in your square and a stand up person uh, because you was always honest and transparent um, and you were empathic in your relationships. I feel like you were protected from spirit. I feel like you needed to see things for what they were, which is why that tower moment um, was sticking up, sticking out in my mind like you uh, was definitely perhaps um, under some form of an illusion. You didn't really fully have all the deets. You didn't really know all of the specifics that was happening, perhaps within the relationships that you had with certain people. And so spirit had to expose those things. And what you did was you took that information and you cut yourself free from those cords, yokes from the spells with that boundaries, the sword, the sword of truth. And now you see the truth and now you're util you're utilizing uh, the time around certain individuals wisely, you know, you know how to move in a room full of vultures, but you're also super sensitive. Your psychic abilities are super amplified. So you're able to see now you have clarity. And so you've found something out with, let me find out. And you found out that someone was disloyal. You may have found out someone was being a dog or a stray cat just out there for everybody, you know, didn't have any loyalty. They weren't faithful. And so that led to some sort of ending, but it's transformed you to a better person. So that's beautiful. And you are very protected. You are very protected, beloveds. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Thank you, spirit. Finish the shuffle. Thank you, spirit. You absolutely are alchemists. See that? Seeking guidance. So that's probably what you are doing here is just, you know, get in those downloads. And if you look on this card, it will show you, um, you know, the boundaries that we just saw along with uh, Homeland Foundation. So if you look closely, this is the first card we saw when we split the boundaries. And then this is the Homeland card. So it's just telling you that you are right. Um, trust whatever you feel, you know. It's like trust what you know intuitively. You know, because your intuition gives you a second chance to survey a situation. And I did call you the alchemist, the magis. You have drawn this awareness. I mean, because when you master yourself, you know, when you reach that level of self-mastery, you realize you could actually co-create with source. An alchemist is also that person that is um, working on their skincare line. I was picking up heavy, somebody working on a skincare line, um, essential oils, you know, just someone really cooking up um, products. And they're using products from nature. You know, maybe some of you all are making like protective oils um, and ouds, you know, you're making like ouds and that's another protective oil as well. So, um, and I feel this is going to bring abundance. I feel some sort of ending has really brought you into um, alignment with what your purpose is. It's like you've turned pain into power literally and figuratively because whatever happened, it's like you channeled all of that energy into your passion and it's like 
now it's like there's there's prosperity ahead and that's what the empress and the emperor are they represent entrepreneurs like they 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 make things happen they they are very action oriented people they don't sit around and be pessimistic about anything they go after what they want they put boots to ground and they go get it we have incubation here astara and this astara card very interesting in another deck is the divine feminine but if you look at this astara card it says incubation I feel like this is very indicative because this looks like a masculine's body inside of here to me. It always looks very masculine, even though the name of the card is Astara. That could be feminine also. It doesn't really matter. Energy is, you know, it doesn't matter. It's about the energy. So I do feel like there's, again, this is like a rebirth. Like, because this is an adult, you know, in, a, in, a, in the womb, you know. So it's like... The only way an adult can be in a womb is if they are being reborn. So with rebirth, I feel this is, again, the mirroring, you know, the divine masculine and divine feminine mirroring one another. You're birthing new ideas. This is like you, your baby. This is something you're passionate about, you know. And we have KMD peach fuzz, you know. And so back in the days when I was growing up, like when... You know, the young brothers was, you know, crossing the threshold to manhood. They would have like little peach fuzz on their face. You know, I grew up with four brothers, um, um, three brothers. One was like a brother. Um, it was a close friend that was like a brother. But, you know, you get to see them go through, you know, that process of, um, you know, having no hair, being naked. <laughs> bare skin to you know now getting all of these little you know little peach fuzz all over the place so this is telling me that this is like a masculine who's had to grow up mature I feel like this is you know spirit putting someone because I was feeling the tower moment that could have taken place and so this is almost like someone um going back to ground zero you know healing from past wounds traumas you know, doing a lot of self-analysis, self-reflecting, and also like discovering more about themselves as well. But I do feel like this is a rebirth for someone as well. So we have high priestess, responsibility. So for some of you all, as I said, very psychic very very psychic like your your psychic abilities at this time are amplified super amplified you know everything is new on this planet right now like i'm noticing so many shifts so many changes they just like it's it's the big unveil it's like we are literally this is the new earth like the sun is different i was out taking a nature walk i'm somebody who lives in nature always out there and I was out there looking up. I like to sun gaze. And I'm telling you, the sun is so bright. It's brighter than it's ever been. I've never seen the sun this bright. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I've also noticed, like, when it's time for f the full moon, this is nothing new. They've been doing this in North Carolina since I've been living here. But it's like, whenever there's a full moon, it's like, you got to catch it the night before. It'll be nice and full and beautiful. But the day of the full moon, they're always... You know, just pumping out all them chemtrails and then covering up the moon and um, so that you can't get that full impact. And a lot of people were saying that um, that the moon is actually a mothership. There's so many different theories going on out there. Um, but I know for myself, the sun is is definitely different. Just this summer alone was like I've never I think the last time it was sweltering. Like this was when I was like six, seven in the Bronx in the 80s and 90s. Like I remember it being super hot, but even then it wasn't that hot because we would turn on the hot, you know, the um, the hydrants, the fire hydrants, and we'd be out in that water all day, like playing. We'll go to the, you know, the, the um, to the pool. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 had, you know. We had options, <laughs> you know, as the youth. So the summers never really were that hot. You know, back in the days, we didn't have no ACs. We just had them big old box fans with the steel. <laughs> it was the steel um, blades. It wasn't even like, 
you know, plastic. It was actual steel blades. And um, and we had about two of those in the house. Uh, We lived on the third floor. So, you know, there would be a nice little breeze that will always come through, manage to come through the way our block was set up. But um, uh, this summer, it was just hot for no reason you wake up and it's already 90 and humid like it was just ridiculous but I digress the responsibility I feel like this was you know this could be your energy here I feel like spirit is telling you um you have a responsibility now to uh really pay attention you know to your surroundings you know to really trust what you're feeling to not go against the grain because you've obviously gone through a major transformation so it's like once you know you can't go back to being ignorant once you see you can't go back to being blind so it is your responsibility to do your due diligence to pay attention to the energy around you to the people around you um i feel like you are responsible for a lot of the changes that are taking place um we have dr octagon and this is cool, Keith. Um, and the name of this is called Girl, um, Let Me Touch You. Um, so there's definitely someone that's feeling very attracted to you as I was picking up, especially when you're in that divine feminine energy that, I mean, she's irresistible. Uh, she is just beauty in all fashions of the word. Like, you know, it's not just only physical beauty, but it's, you know, her mind is beautiful. Her her spirit is beautiful. Her patience um, is beautiful. Her her Uh, her energy, you know, her empathy, her compassion is beautiful. So I feel like, you know, with this high priestess energy, um, pay attention, you know, and I just saw 3131. So 4-4 again, there's definitely something you're manifesting. um, Because, you know, the alchemist is a master manifester. Um, You're creating, you're co-creating, you're tapping into that divinity as that feminine or masculine energy. And you're creating something new. And we could see that Uh, whatever this is, it's like it's about to um, you're about to birth this some this idea. Um, And I do feel like you're revolutionizing something uh, with girl. Let me touch you. I'm also picking up again with that body butter. It's like really making, you know, the, um, you know, skin very soft, like baby soft. I'm hearing like, girl, let me touch you. Like somebody's not going to be able to, you know, keep their hands off of you because, you know, if you are um, cooking up some sort of like skincare products, like, it's it's really um it's really powerful uh the way um you've cooked up this particular recipe because it's like it's making the skin glow it's making the skin soft um it's also healing you know any of the rashes and the eczema so it's just like like i said it's a different type of body butter it's not just for the smooth skin um it's not just for you know, the, the arom aromatic, um, um, element, it's, it's also like, it's healing. It's like, you're using it as a topical, if you will, to, to help heal certain skin conditions. So that's very powerful. Like I said, that's for a select few, but somebody is an alchemist. So we have here that the guidance, as I said, so I do feel like some of you all are, um, you're, you're, you're feeling something. It's like with this, High Priestess Energy, as we all know, she's very uh, clairvoyant, you know what I'm saying? She's very psychic. Uh, So you could be picking up on something um, and you're just here to confirm um, or affirm or to just get that little nod like, yeah, that's the type of time um, that they're on. This is the type of time you should be on. So it's just like you're here just for confirmation purposes and nothing more because you already know to trust your own intuition and to not submit your will to anyone so next we have cycles moon so didn't i say earlier like pay attention to the cycles and rhythms of your own body um it will be very it will behoove you um especially if there's someone trying to manipulate your energy trying to you know conjure up something um the moon represents what's hidden represents the shadows so some of you all could literally be just be kind of like um doing some inner works uh maybe you're manifesting during this waxing gibbous you know uh moon you could be manifesting something um but i feel it's coming into fruition whatever this is because you could feel it you know you have a responsibility here 
see this we got invocation ritual so some of you all are definitely um, needing to keep your head on a swivel because it is possible that there's someone trying to do some sort of spell work and I feel like when you pay attention to the cycles and rhythms of your body it will let you know if it's being manipulated it will let you know what's going on if you just listen so I feel strongly uh, pay attention uh, maybe this is you all um, using um, the moon to do rituals you know manifestation rituals maybe you're doing prosperity or um, abundance rituals just to manifest uh, because as we saw earlier more money more problems so you know maybe there is there could be an element of jealousy you know because as you are finding yourselves growing as you are finding yourselves um, you know breaking through uh, into you know higher realms um, and, and, and expanding your brand um, other people may not be happy for you um, people will always be happy for you as long as you're not doing better than they are uh, the moment you have more success it's like they start showing you their true colors and so it's very important to constantly uh, be you know just keeping an eye on your circle and making sure that the people that you have around you are you know genuine you know that, that they are for the right reasons so that's why spirit is reminding you that you have a responsibility to know your circle to pay attention to the cycles the rhythms of your body pay attention to your energy around certain people pay attention to how your body responds around certain people because it's an indicator as to their frequency you know and so we have dr dre featuring Snoop Dogg and this is called deep cover so for some of you all you have hidden enemies they're they're undercover you know you got undercover haters that are parading around as your friends your lovers um, with deep cover this is somebody that you've known for a long time so when they're in deep cover that means they've been undercover for a long time so long that you wouldn't even suspect them so it's that person that you you know when you're around them, when your energy levels is feeling a certain type of way, or when you just get this, like, your stomach just sinks, you know, around a certain person, or you just feel a certain energy just beaming off a person, you got to trust that, because it's your responsibility, you know, it's your responsibility, because these are the very people that could be sitting here teaming up against you, and uh, trying to perform some sort of ritual to block you, and so we have intensification here. So some some feelings are intensifying. I feel like this could be within yourself. Maybe this is that divine masculine or divine feminine whose feelings are intensifying. Like I was picking up here, you know, with this burning flame. I was feeling like somebody's feelings, you know, you know, the flame is, is still lit. You know, they still have it for you. Maybe this is a friend, you know, that has, you know, these feelings. This is like that secret admirer even. You know, someone who's always admired you because I was picking up, you know, this person that wants to return. There's some sort of history, you know, you've never been in a relationship with this person. You never even dated this person exclusively. Maybe this was someone that you bumped into in your journey in life. And you just had always had a beautiful chemistry with that person. or There was always this attraction, this very unspoken attraction and maybe this person will pop back on the grid and you'll be able to explore those feelings even further and I do feel somebody is doing some sort of magic as well you know somebody could be manifesting this could be you manifesting this new love or manifesting love and it's coming into fruition Sooner than you could even imagine, perhaps, you know, maybe y'all are just manifesting new opportunities and spirit is like, it's coming. It's it's actually here. What do you know? So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. We're going to clarify these messages. This is the energy oracle deck. And there we have it. We have Archangel Shamuel. Didn't I mention the um, sacral chakra? The the um, solar plexus. I'm, I'm sorry. This is the solar plexus. The third chakra is the solar plexus. That's the sun that shines within you. 
So that's showing me that there had to be, um, you know, some sort of death of a situation. This rebirth card is what we're about to clarify. So some sort of death of a situation, situation that ended uh, very painfully, suddenly, unexpectedly. Um, it led to you really working on healing yourself. You know, it also led you to trusting your gut instinct when you move forward, learning from past mistakes, you know, not being taken for granted. We got indecision here, the number eight. So this is what you was dealing with before. It was like you wasn't really trusting your intuition. You were stuck at a fork in a road. Maybe somebody was torn between, you know, two people, two circumstances, you know, and that, that required them to go with their gut. Maybe you have... A choice to make here uh, between two people and spirit is telling you to trust what you're feeling you know trust that inner wisdom because as this this high priestess that speaks to you having ancient wisdom knowledge understanding so you know what's hidden you could see beyond the veil your first eyes wide open you have wise dome so it's like you are very attuned and in tune you know you're in alignment spiritually. And we have Ghost Face Killer. And the name of this song is called Nutmeg. And Nutmeg is used in protective rituals. So Spirit is telling you to protect yourselves. Remember the protection card. Maybe you all need to heighten the protection. Whatever you're doing, double up on it. This is definitely someone I feel with ghost face. I feel whoever this is, this is, I'm hearing phantom now. This is somebody you're not even thinking about. That's an, uh, this is like, they, they have some agenda, some, some motive. All right, we're going to cut this deck. See what's coming and going out, going on for my divine masculine, divine feminine. We have a message of love and light. Why is rebirth here? And we have blossoming abundance. And remember, prosperity came out right next to it. So this is just confirmation. This is the number three. So all of the self-mastery, all of the, you know, working blood, sweat, and tears, all of the personal growth, all of the lessons learned karmically is the reason why spirit is rewarding you. And you could feel it. You could sense it. You could taste it. You could touch it. It's like... And there's envy here. Voila. What do you know? Someone's very envious of you because of the work you've obviously put in. And that's why with this nutmeg, I was picking up with the ghost face reference. This is a phantom. This is someone you don't even think about like that. This is someone that's very jealous of you. And they're watching. They're trying to block a blessing or block some sort of opportunities from you. They're jealous and envious. They're jealous of your growth. They're jealous of your strength. They're jealous of your beauty. They're jealous of your wise dome. They're jealous of the way others love you. They're jealous of the way you co-create. See this? You got the door to romance. Door to romance. And then you also have contract here. So you're going to be signing some contracts for your business. I feel this is also saying karma dharma. See this? We got a warning here. So what I see here with this is not only are you receiving, you know, this abundance from spirit because of your hard work, but also because of, you know, the healing work you've done on yourself. Spirit also feels you're deserving of love. Spirit is opening up, you know, the pathways for your divine masculine because remember, I was picking up with the 33, I saw 1515, 15, that's 66, six, and I was saying that's the lovers. This is like the lovers coming in. This is someone that will have the key to that heart. This is not just any old person. This is someone who is, you know, I'm feeling they, they crazy over you. You know, that nut is sticking out to me. So this is someone that would be, is really crazy over you, for you. Um, and this is someone that you know, someone from your past. As I said, uh, this could be someone that you've bumped into in this lifetime or in a former lifetime. But whatever it is, this this is a very blissed union. I feel like there will be a lot of like emotional financial fulfillment in this union. 
And I feel like because we saw Notorious B.I.G. say more money, more problems, that's why that envious person was sitting there watching y'all because people hate what they can't duplicate. You know what I'm talking about? Like people fear what they don't understand and hate what they can't conquer. Guess it's just the theory of man in the words of Nas. And it's like we clearly see you've been working hard on yourself. And not only have you been working hard on yourself, but I feel whoever you've been manifesting is mirroring you in that regard, which is why you both are meeting on the same um, wavelength, speaking each other's love language. Um, I'm definitely seeing here that that phantom, whoever that person is, that's hidden because um, I get a sense that this is someone that has been around you for a while, but they have been playing this role like they are for you when they're really against you. And I feel it's a person that is, you know, they, they try to pretend like they're congratulating you, but they could be trying to sabotage something you're working on. So be mindful not to share any, you know, intricate details of your recipes um, you know, on how you're concocting um, your your uh, skincare line, because this is the type of person that will steal your ideas. You know, uh, make sure you're not leaving your um, book of shadows around either. Like if you have your own book of shadows, um, which is basically like your magic spells that you have um, tried and tested and they were proven to work. And so you incorporate them or you add them into the book of shadows. Make sure you're not leaving that information around, you know, because I, I feel someone's trying to use your stuff against you, you know, trying to steal your ideas and, and, and duplicate it. Make sure you're trademarking your things. Make sure you are doing your due diligence to secure your your ideas, your whatever it is you're creating. And we got Sean Paul singing, get busy. So you need to hurry up and make this happen. You know, I feel whoever this is, um, they're going to receive karma. But I also feel like it is your karma to um, to receive some sort of like business loan deal. But make sure you read the fine details. Like spirit is saying, use your intuition. You know, don't just you know, be so excited that someone saying, hey, you're approved for a loan and then you go get it. And then you got a, like a 24 percent, you know, interest rate, you know, which is absolutely ridiculous. You know, so just make sure that you're doing your due diligence. Make sure that things are making sense. You know, six is also the number of your intuition. So I just feel like spirit is telling you trust what you're feeling, you know, because you already have the answers. It is your responsibility now to do your due diligence, to make sure that whatever it is you are aligning yourself with is um, foolproof, if you will, because there are some some threats, there's some storm warnings. And, and we already know, like I said in the intro, um, Mercury retrograde can have, you know, the communication all over the place. There could be misunderstandings. You can misread something in a contract and then sign it. And now you're bound to that contract for however long. So it's like, take the time out, you know, take the time out to assess incubation is, you know, getting a different perspective, a more evolved perspective, getting a chance to see something clearly. This is like reflection, introspection, even meditating to get things straight before taking action, because there's a potential. This is a potential for a threat. This isn't a threat. It's only a threat if you don't do your due diligence to trust your intuition. And if you just jump out there and and, and, and be Speedy Gonzalez and, you know, and you have no direction, you know, you don't have no plan. You're not strategizing a plan. So this this is, you know, this is almost like a warning. And I just saw 4848. And that's 1212, which is 33, which is six. So like I said, trust your intuition, your gut instinct. Don't just, you know, fly off the handle and bust moves without like calculating the risks the risks, excuse me. So we have Lauren Hill, final hour. So divine spirit. And she says, you could get the money. You could get the power, but keep your eyes on the final hour, hour. So this is about being integral, not selling your soul for a dime, for a dollar. This card is sticking out. So I just want to see what that is. Archangel Gabriel, throat chakra. 
and that's the number 39 I'm gonna get another card but that was sticking out so like I was saying choose your words wisely you know the throat chakra deals with expression expression of oneself communicatively expressing your feelings your thoughts your desires you know maybe there's an opportunity to have a conversation someone has been really um, perhaps thinking of what they want to say what they wish to say when they come up out of this you know this this uh, very reflective place introspective place you know but this is also coming up with some really dope ideas creatively artistically you know expressing oneself artistically getting some sort of wake-up call that 39 is 12 so that still deals with that empress energy so this is like I said like revolutionizing something but making sure you stay humble sure making sure you stay you know um, integral you know disciplined you know making sure that you are staying true you know and not going against the um, the universal laws you know there's sunshine so things are going to be very beautiful there's something beautiful that's unfolding this this is like peace and joy and happiness the Sun is very illumin illuminating I mentioned the Sun earlier just how bright you know the Sun shines now and so I just feel like this is the clarity that I was saying spirit was saying you have you have the responsibility to see the truth you know do not get duped do not get gaslit do not allow yourselves to be um, blind to what is right in front of your face pay attention to the cycles and rhythms of your body with the moon that speaks to things that are hidden you are the keeper of ancient wisdom there's nothing that can be hidden from you know this powerful um, energy of that that high priestess so that's a beautiful feeling beautiful energy give me one moment sorry about that my son is going outside I just want to send him out some positive energy so yes the Sun so pay attention because there's something that is going to come uh, become very clear I also feel like you know something beautiful is coming you know like you know something somebody's trying to dim your light look at this somebody is pissed off that you over here having all this peace and tranquility and joy and this person is just sitting here envious they just been following you the whole time so this is somebody definitely like stalking your life they could be watching you from a distance we have um run dmc and this is called run's house and he goes whose house mm -mm. run's house rising power dmc so I mean, GM Master J, pardon me. Um, so this right here is showing me that there's definitely somebody who's trying to dim your light. Like they are very jealous. And I feel it's this high priestess. Whoever this high priestess is, I don't even think this is you. I feel like spirit is telling you to pay attention because the same two, two is the high priestess. This is somebody that's two-faced. This is somebody that is watching you. You know, this is somebody who is definitely watching you stalking you keeping tabs on you and this is somebody who is literally like trying to conjure something up and I feel like you're gonna have a victory regardless you know because this son is here which is telling me that you see this person for who they are you see how one side of her face is shown the other side is, is like shadow so this is like right here the moon you know the moon like I said, it's very shadow. It, it represents the shadow. So this is somebody who is faking the funk, who's fugazi, who's trying to run isht, trying to control your house, trying to manipulate your home, your happiness. You know, this could be like a supervisor. This could be somebody um, who has a responsibility um, to do right. And they're using their powers for bad. So this is like spirit is telling you to um, look alive, beloved, pay attention, use discernment because there's somebody's watching you and they have this very envious energy, very envious. And it's because they see how successful you are, how far you've come. See, we got yin and yang here. So this represents 
this is like um, perhaps a divine masculine who has a karmic ex. You know, this is somebody that's coming towards you because that 2-2 two -two is giving me the 4, which deals with the emperor, right? And I was saying the whole time, this was like the yin to your yang, your divine counterpart, your soulmate that's coming towards you. And there's some sort of high priestess who is trying to be controlling, overbearing, and trying to control the narrative so they could be doing rituals on this person that's meant to come to you. So if it's a feminine coming in for you, then there's a masculine doing some sort of love spells, conjuring up some ish, going to a spiritual practitioner to put some sort of hexes, spells, voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria, black magic, whatever, on that feminine that's trying to get away. That's probably why this person is stuck here in this incubation because and unable to find the words, unable to communicate because this person is manipulating their energy. They're manipulating your the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. They're causing someone to be imbalanced, out of equilibrium, confused, conflicted, torn between two. Remember, we saw the fork in the road. See this? Financial dis uh, constraints. This is about money. This person is trying to control this person because they feel this person has a responsibility to them and their household. Remember, whose house runs house. So this person is trying to control the finances, control the, the flow of money. So they're using someone for money. They're using the masculine for material gain. This could be like a fiance, a wife even. This person could be in a karmic relationship with someone. And this is a hidden enemy to you because maybe this person, I keep feeling like she's learned about you. And if she's a high priestess, she knows about you. This this divine masculine or divine feminine didn't do their due diligence to uh, protect their, uh, you know, their personal information perhaps pertaining you or their feelings. Maybe they left a journal out. Maybe they left, you know, their, their freaking computer unlocked and they went out to the store and that person was going through, rummaging through every file, every folder and landed on something. And now you're the enemy, you know, you are the enemy. You got a hidden enemy. This is somebody who is definitely using this person for money. Definitely using this person for money. So let's see what we got coming in. Why is moon here, cycles? Why is moon here? May I have a message of love and light for my divine feminine and divine masculine, please. Thank you. Thinking man. See this? Didn't I say codependent? This is this is what codependency looks like. Attachments. Someone has some sort of sick attachment to someone. See that? The thinking man. And you see how he's just looking at this object, trying to manipulate it. Somebody's using emotional manipulation. They're master manipulators. This is a master manipulator here. This is somebody definitely like, and they got a couple of people helping them with this. So someone's going to perhaps three different practitioners to work on you so that they could control you. And because there's a masculine here, I just feel like, you know, there's a feminine and a masculine. This is definitely someone that you've had an ending with. Um, not you, pardon me. Someone this person has had some sort of ending. They've they've ended things with this person. The masculine or feminine that's coming towards you has had a karmic, let me just say it like that, that is perturbed, jealous, envious, and, and butthurt. You know, this is somebody very devious had someone trapped up in their head, confused, just conflicted mentally, emotionally, but then there's this discovery that they're wearing a mask, you know, that, you know, your person's realizing that, and 5858 on the clock is that 1313 again, so this is in fact someone that has a karmic, I feel like you've had a karmic, you've completed your cycle, that's why there's prosperity here, the person that you're attracting, they have a karmic, they're trying to complete a cycle with, and it's a codependent connection, and we have, um, we have, uh, Cool G Rap, Big Daddy Kane, Master Ace, Craig G, and this is called, um, The Symphony, and so whoever these people are, it's like they are, 
coming together to invoke some sort of energy to do some sort of spell work some sort of ritual you know to to keep someone stuck damn wow but look who's here see this is what they're trying to do they're trying to keep someone trapped mentally because remember that same five just showed up with um financial constraints or something like that now look at this archangel mikael is protecting that's what i was telling y'all the protection card is protecting not only you but this union because when you have a twin flame or a soulmate you know that is a unit so spirit isn't just going to protect you and the other person just got to figure it out. Like spirit is protecting you. Archangel Mikael has showed up in the reading several times. And this is definitely showing he's protecting you from whatever this ritual uh, is. And with second chakra Archangel um, Ariel, I definitely feel like something is intensifying within you all or even within the person who is under some sort of spell. It's like they're starting to pick up on these feelings, on these emotions, on something being wrong. And it's because they're focused now more on self-love, self-care. They're dealing with people who are hateful, hostile, people who have projection. They're projecting their unhappiness. See this? This is a hostile energy. This is that same person that was trying to bring storm warnings to you. Somebody that, um, and if this isn't you, this is the person you're attracting. But this is someone who has chosen to walk away from another person. Because they feel like there's something very wrong in this connection here. And I feel with just a moment playing by Nas, someone took that time out, that pause, to reflect. I also feel someone may have you know, got in their own bag and started to analyze the situation. And they outsmarted these individuals that was trying to uh, perpetuate some sort of negative circumstance and keep them stuck in their head, conflicted. Archangel Mikael is cutting this person free from those ties that are trying to bind them, from the cords that are trying to Keep them constrained. Archangel Mikael is here to protect you. This is your blessing. He's protecting you from this hostile person. This is someone ready for a fight, ready for an argument. And with just a moment, I definitely feel like spirit is... Not playing because you got angels that showed up. You got Archangel Gabriel, you got Archangel Michael, and you have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. And so these angels are not playing when it comes to you. They're showing up because, as I said, you have a purpose. This relationship, there's a purpose for this yin yang relationship, this yin yang connection. This is real love. There's no denying this is real love. On the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Swords. This is the Dark Grimoire. So, Ace of Swords represents cutting yourselves free. You got the Death card. Didn't I mention the Death card? And the Ace of Swords is literally that boundaries that we saw from the Witch's Wisdom. So, what we see here is you receive the download. You receive some sort of information, you know, and I mentioned the Book of Shadows, and this looks very much like the Book of Shadows. So it's like you receive some sort of confirmation or some sort of download, even via your dreams, some sort of transmission, some sort of divine intervention took place. And what it happened was it led to an ending that was necessary. This death card is speaking to, you know, the veil being lifted all of the lies, all of the trickery being seen. Didn't I mention the hermit? The hermit is a wizard. So the hermit goes within. The hermit knows the answers he seeks are found within. 
So that's what a lot of you all did. You went within. And somebody is here dealing with some sort of sorcery, some sort of spell, charm, because they can't even recognize themselves anymore. The Nine of Swords is like somebody really um, having a battle. You know, it's a it's mental conflict. You know, it's anxiety. It's ruminating, pining, overthinking, analysis, paralysis, up all night. And I see the wheel. This is a destined union. Someone's trying to stick a, trying to put a stick in your wheel, trying to prevent something that's destined to take place, destined to happen. And it's that envious person that we saw. And we got the three of wands here. So this is something that you've been manifesting, something you've been anticipating, more importantly. And that past person is trying to entice someone. Remember I said the eight of cups. That was like the eight of cups I saw. And here we have the eight of cups with someone from the past is trying to return. And it's like you got to you gotta say, no, nah, I'm good not interested thanks but no thanks you know and you got a queen of wands here very manipulative energy very controlling energy so you got to be mindful of that and the ace of wands so that's that new beginning that's that forward movement that's that assertiveness that's moving forward upward and onward and you have justice see that karma dharma when you do right you know, the right you do is acknowledged. That's what I see here with this rebirth and the prosperity and the blossoming abundance. It's like, you know, you did your due diligence. You was right and exact. You you was not malicious. You know, you was obedient. You did what you had to do to make sure, you know, that things were handled fairly and justly. So you planted your seeds in good faith. So... Rebirth is here. Look at that. I can't make this up. When I spoke of rebirth, I mentioned the death card. And look what's clarifying it. The death. So this is absolutely a reward for all of the transformations and changes that you've been through. Spirit sees what you've been going through. Spirit also sees who you're dealing with and how hateful they are, jealous they are, and how they're trying to block your happiness, your love, your peace. They're trying to affect change in your life in a negative way but karma karma see this the good you do comes back you see this doll there's someone like with a voodoo dog here this is what i feel like if y'all are feeling pain and you see how this doll that all of the pins are right on the heart chakra so this is someone who has been trying to um block someone that's destined to be in your life causing this person pain and then I believe and I feel and I know that it is this high priestess. This is someone who is very vile, someone who is very envious and jealous of you, of the connection that this masculine has with you, of the synergy that the two of you share, the chemistry the two, the two of you share. She could see it or, f or feel the love in whatever it is she was snooping around and looking through. So if she was looking through this person's emails or looking through their phone, even the fact that this person may have this information stashed lets them know how this person truly feels about you all. The fact that they're holding on to that communication or holding on to those photos or holding on. It's like that's an indicator that that flame, that flame was still lit all along, even when they were with them. And so they have this vendetta. This, this jealousy, this envy towards the other woman, the other man, because they know their person loves them genuinely. With this justice, I feel it's your just due to have someone come in and shower you not only with love, but to also receive this blessing. We have AZ, Sugar Hill, Ramen, and I feel like this person has gone through so many, they kiss so many frogs. And now they're coming to who they feel is the one that got away. Because with the lovers, that's like a spiritual union. That's like a divine counterpart. You know, it's overseen by the angels. That's why the angels are showing up and protecting this union from this toxic, hateful witch or warlock. 
you know, this is a destiny type of thing, you know, this six is showing like the door to romance is opening up for you uh, because you've taken all of the time necessary to heal yourself. And not only is that opening up, but there's also abundance and prosperity. It's like a harvest and it's your just due. It's like you're reaping what you sow, literally, figuratively. So why is prosperity in the door to romance here for my divine feminine and divine masculine lines? Can I have a message of love and light spirit? I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person, if you look closely, the bull, that looks like, I don't know what that is, the Knight of Pentacles. I thought it was a bull the way I saw it at first, but it's some sort of, um, some sort of animal beast that they, um, what you call it. But what you see here is this person is realizing there's, there's an offer here for you guys. Like you guys have some sort of offer. This is a golden opportunity for you all. And it has been taking a while for it to manifest. And I feel it's because somebody has been trying to manipulate this and block this for you. But your angels are showing up and showing out. And they're going to block them, if anything. So it's like this has been taking a long time. Someone has really been trying to figure out the right way to come towards you. The right things to say. We have salt and pepper. And this is called shake your thang. So this person is definitely coming in. Um, yeah, to shake things up. We got the sun on the bottom of the deck, you know, and with salt and pepper. I feel, you know, like I was saying, like some of you all are using some sort of holistic means to create salt is uh, also a very protective um, ingredient, you know, so some of you all could be. Uh, you know, utilizing the salt, maybe spirit is telling you to use salt, um, you know, around your homes, place some salt in each room in the corners of your homes just to dissolve that negative energy to expel it. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, with this, this uh, sun here, it's, it's just speaking to you coming into a happier time. There's just something very beautiful, very joyous joyous that's taking place and I feel like it's again you know spirit balancing things out for you some sort of good news coming in um and I feel it has a lot to do with your creative projects or your business or your career there's something you know very positive coming um some news that's coming in for you so why is herbal kitchen alchemist contract You've co-created something and you were definitely, um, you're, you're rewarded for whatever this is. Like I was picking up, like you're revolutionizing something, cooking up something. And it's like, there's going to be a lot of success in it for you. A lot of expansion, major breakthroughs, major victories. And we got on the bottom of the deck, the two of cups here. So you are coming into a union, a partnership, a business arrangement. So we have the high priestess here. So it's like almost spirit is telling you tap into your inner high priestess. Spirit is also saying that this person, um, as I said, could be trying to cook up some things to block, you know, success. But they're going to be tried and tested by the divine, like... You get back what you put out, you know, so this is like universal law of karma. You know, the scales will be balanced in your favor. And we have this knight of chalices here. So there's a message of love. Somebody's been taking the time out and assessing themselves, assessing the situation. You know, it's like showing, improving, growing, um, and also discovering that there's some, some words that have been, you know, that have been left unspoken that they wish to clear the air. Extend this love, extend this olive branch. And we have black star definition. So I feel like this person is the very definition, whoever this is, this is the very definition of um, a snake. You know, this is someone cloaked. So this is a hidden energy enemy. You know, this person, you see how he's trying to convince this man, this demon is trying to convince this man. This is like selling your soul. And remember, I was picking up on soul, not for sale. You know, so 
earlier so I feel like this person is trying to convince this person you know to uh, come with them or to accept this offer and you see how this man's hands are straight down they're not willing to accept it whoever this is this is the very definition of a sociopath or some sort of demonic entity or energy they're just very evil evil spirited evil like they're motivated by evil and it's because they're trying to block this this connection the two of cups is this person's main motivation for running this interference every time someone is you know you know um attempting to affect some sort of change whether in their personal life or their love life or it's like this high priestess has shown up so even with your business even with your uh your finances it's like this person is watching and stalking envious you know but spirit is here protecting you spirit archangel Michael has his eyes right on this demonic entity this demonic energy and your person the same person is conjuring up thinking of a plan you know because they still they're both of them are wearing top hats you know they're both wearing hats so I feel like this is the masculine breaking free from some sort of obsessed karmic p possessive karmic see that look at this they're trying to run away from these demons so that they can get back into union with you this is all they want this is all they're thinking about but they have to free themselves from this energy here and see how this person is trying to be a salesman trying to sell them on something but he's he's wise enough to know like nah I'm good he's in balance he's harmonized now he's back in harmony and it has a lot to do with them taking that pause that time to go within to reflect and they see that this person is the very definition of evil of scorned of hateful of jealous of envious is the very definition of so let's see why is this moon cycles and the thinking man here and with black star it's like you are literally their wish fulfillment like they see you as their wish fulfillment you know and black is just you know that that's indicative of you know what sh what is hidden you know the darkness the sky is black you know is is really indicative of what's hidden but this person is very wise they're starting to use discernment and so we have here the queen of chalices see this trusting one's intuition the queen of chalices is very psychic as well so they're tapping into their inner psychic you know they're tapping into that that intuition using discernment and we have Roxanne and this is called the real Roxanne so someone is recognizing and realizing the real person you know that 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 this issue is with you know with the real Roxanne they they realizing you're the real their real love you know the love they have for you is real whereas with this other person it feels forced it feels controlled it doesn't feel natural and we have the hierophant here so this is they've been learning you know this hierophant represents like I said you know seeking wise counsel gaining a deeper more profound understanding of the self and that's why this thinking man is here because this person has been learning they've been learning to trust their intuition especially with this Queen of Cups and they've fallen in love with you because you're real and there's an evil eye on the back of her throne and so this is just telling me that this masculine is tapping into their inner psychic you know using their intuition remember the cycles is here so it's like they're, they're trusting the feelings the emotions you know they're trusting what they're feeling um, opposed to just going by what this person may be saying they're just observing and analyzing a situation because that's what they've learned to do they've awakened their inner spiritual self and we have the ten of pentacles so there is an ending there's definitely some sort of ending this could, this could be someone who's trapped in a marriage a loveless marriage a marriage that's only 
one that's just full of obligation because of the bills, the rent, the children, whatever the responsibilities are. This is someone who feels they have a responsibility. They feel obligated to another person and someone does a good job at making them feel guilty. And so this person isn't buying what this individual is selling because they're finally, slowly, but surely getting back into harmony, back into equilibrium. Someone could be dealing with Rox someone named Roxanne. So why is the uh, rebirth, I'm sorry, why is the ritual all tied up in Archangel Mikael here for my divine feminine and masculine energy? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. See this? The six of cups. This is somebody who's daydreaming, thinking about how things used to be. This person is trying to block them from coming towards you. They're causing all this confusion. You see how all of that smoke, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if you look closely, this is why this person's so confused and so conflicted. They, they performed some sort of love spell or some sort of spell work on this individual, which is why they were trapped in this connection. If you look here, they're trapped mentally, physically, they're like just con literally wrapped up, you know, in cords. Those are karmic cords. But look who comes to save the day. Archangel Mikael with his sword, cutting your person free from whatever this is, this ritual that was invoked on this person that's coming towards you. This is somebody who has been bound and stuck for a very long time. And they have memories of you, you know. This person, remember what I was saying, like somebody has been, you know, holding on to these feelings, these emotions um, of you. And this is what led them um, or leads them towards you. Next, we have intensification and in second chakra. Someone's definitely attracted to you because that second chakra is really about moving to the beat of your own drum. It's about self-care, self-love. So you've been doing that as the divine feminine, divine masculine. And so we have judgment. So this is that person from your past. See that? And they could have been trying to be a player and they got caught up with a complete psycho, you know? Yep. And they're walking away from that person with the eight of chalices. This is the same person that's trying to sell them something. Remember last time we had the masculine, he had his hands down. They're trying to hand him something. You know, this is someone who wants to dead this contract. Whatever this this spiritual bind is, they're ready to dead it. And Archangel Mikael is here to cut the cords and protect this union. Because I feel this person that's coming towards you is your divine feminine and masculine. Because this yin and yang came out. We saw 11-11 on the clock. We also saw rebirth. We saw it twice because I feel like this Astara with the incubation is also like a grown person going through some sort of rebirth. You know, it's like they're starting back at zero. There's some hateful, evil eyes watching. We already saw envy keep showing up. Somebody's jealous of a connection that you have with another person. This person was a player in the past and the player ended up getting played by some old hateful person. And they're trying to sell this person, but your person isn't buying. They're trying to sell them some sort of dream. They're trying to sell them some sort of, you know, falsehood. And your person is is woke. I feel this connection that you will have with this person, it will be very strong. Uh, because I feel like your person now sees the difference between the real and the fake. And they also realize, like, this is a spiritual connection they have with you whereas with this other person it could have been all about sex because we had some song talking about um i just want to touch you by cool keith so this could have been somebody you know they they could definitely be attracted to you because you are that divine feminine divine masculine so you are very attractive but i do feel in the past they could have got caught up because we got notorious big play a hater playing they could have been a player player from the Himalaya. Like they could have been one of them people that was just out there and they got trapped in this karmic cycle with this, you know, old toxic, hateful ass person. So next we have the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. So you have somebody who's looking at you like you can fulfill all their needs. You know, this is somebody who wants to give up their player card. You know, they're willing to cut that bank thing up and, and put it in the trash because they love you so much. This is somebody that has deep regrets. You know, they got caught up, as I said, made a decision that they're now regretting. 
um you know because the five of cups is like you know someone sitting down and they're rem reminiscing with the page of coins they're trying to figure out how to offer this to you because they feel deeply that you know they could have this happy spouse happy house happy house happy spouse with you that happily ever after they could build and grow with you you know what i'm saying they feel like they can have a strong unit you know they want to resurrect it they may have got trapped you know looking at options in the past all these different people you know they had different picks of the litter you know different people throwing themselves at them and as i said they got caught up and now they reminiscing on the love they had with you and we got six of cups here so this person is reflecting back just like they are here you know reflecting back on what they had the connection the chemistry this is someone i feel you know because remember we have foundation um homeland show up so this is someone i do feel you have history with but i feel this person was under an illusion and we see clearly they were feeling trapped they were feeling blocked they were feeling gaslit confused and it was because they had some hateful ex or karmic that was you know conjuring up some spells on that ass um this is someone who has like love spells on them this is someone who could have you know ate some witch's brew who knows but archangel mikael is stepping in because one thing the angels don't like is they don't like when there is um when there's unjust like injustice you know when there's a situation where someone is like unbeknownst to them things are happening to them that's why i feel like this person starts waking up they start listening to their intuition you know and their intuition is leading them to look alive to pay attention to um you know to even f you know look at what what they had you know because this is reflecting you know the six of cups is a very you know um mercury retrograde type of energy you know that's like the past returning so we got the six of coins and the six of cups here so what i like about the six of coins um depiction is that he's giving three coins away and he's holding on to three so this is like somebody coming in to offer you something secure stable that's like equal give and take to me very much like the two of cups that we saw um on the bottom of the deck so this is someone that wants that type of solidarity with their partner they don't want to be solely responsible for everything you know having somebody hovering over them and hawking them and making them feel guilty for not wanting to do everything you know and then having somebody doing magic so that they would do everything it's like this is not the type of relationship they want they're daydreaming on this connection i feel there's fears associated with coming back because of the mistakes they made in the past you're going to have to make some sort of judgment call um because someone has had a wake-up call but you can see clearly the the cloud the smoke is dissipating you know and they're able to see that the very top of what appears to be like a pyramid and pyramids represent you know balance mind body and soul so i feel this person is definitely has been grounding themselves they have been searching you know and they realize like that connection they have with you the feelings that's never died um if anything they've intensified they've grown um with time and we have the world here so someone has absolutely and i mentioned the world um has been transforming as well i also feel this person realizes that um you know maybe they were breadcrumbing you in the past not doing as much as they could have but it was because they still had some sort of tie to the karmic but i feel this distance here you know there's emotional distance uh physical distance they definitely feel left out in the cold um whether by you or by the karmic but i do feel a strong sense of like they you know also think the world of you this person um we got big daddy kane smooth operator so maybe in the past they was a smooth operator you know and the smooth operator is usually that that player and i feel strongly the player got played i feel like you picked up relocated moved on with your life just moved did you and i feel like this person is having a lot of memories reflecting um after them it's like after an aftermath situation you know um the aftermath it's like after the, the aftermath because if you look here those clouds look like you know something just broke whether it was a storm and now things are kind of clearing up
but this person is sitting and reflecting on something in the aftermath. So maybe after their own tower, they're realizing, um, you know, how they've treated others um, in the very way that they've been treated and they don't like that feeling. And look at that. So now they feel left out in the cold because you were the one, you know, and you've created this distance. Yep. See the Ten of Pentacles. You're sitting here very stable, self-sufficient, independent. Someone is left, you know, someone has some sort of karmic they was dealing with, living with, residing with. Yeah, this is showing me everything I've been saying. And so with the smooth operator, I think this person is reflecting on their, you know, their player ways. They want to give up their player card. They don't want to be a player no more. <laughs> you know talk about like they don't want to be a player no more. They it is like they don't feel like chalking nothing up to the game because they done lost a lot. Namely you, namely this connection. They also lost a part of themselves. And so we have Queen Latifah, and this is called Dance for Me, and we got the Five of Coins. See that? So someone has you know gone from feeling left out in the cold, abandoned you know, devalued to learning, to rediscovering um, who they are, their worth, their purpose, because you have rebirth, blossoming abundance and death. So there was definitely something that transpired in your relationships, which made you feel left out in the cold. Someone didn't see your worth, didn't see your value. They could have left you for someone else, abandoned you upright and left you. And this led to a very painful ending and loss, but every ending denotes a new beginning. I feel like that painful loss transformed you for the better because now it's like spirit is blessing you because of the seeds that you have sown. So you have sown some really good seeds, some really fertile seeds, and there is a return on that investment because you maintained your integrity, you focused on your healing, and because of that, you're going to be blessed. On the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. So you had to kiss a couple of frogs so that you can now come into, you know, kissing that prince, that king, that emperor. This two of cups is speaking to a very powerful union. Someone wants to come in and offer you something real. This is like a solid commitment, taking things to the next level. Someone that wants to unlock your, your heart, you know, that wants to love on you. And I feel like with Queen Latifah, the word that's sticking out obviously is queen. This person wants to treat you like a queen because they see you as their queen. This is that person that wants to love you um, right, that feels like they could have equal give and take. This is pers someone that I feel um, emotionally has changed, transformed how they feel. You know, this is that person that you have history. Maybe they've been reflecting a lot. On the past, as we see here, kind of daydreaming, thinking back and realizing that they were um, completely out of line. And so now they're wanting to make this offer, wanting to make this gesture. Why is prosperity, door to romance and the Knight of Pentacles here for my divine masculine, divine feminine, please? They have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. See that? They're ready to rush in towards you because... What did I what have I been calling y'all the whole time? The Empress. This person is ready to make a move. They see you as attractive, alluring, intriguing, handsome, dapper, debonair, maternal, paternal, nurturing, a healer. They see you as someone that they can have a future with, someone that they can have that equal give and take. They see you as someone who has mastered yourself. You are highly intuitive. You are a co-creator. This person is ready to reach out, travel. They, they're ready to take that next step. I feel the first line of communication will be a conversation via text message, maybe even them dialing you, but there is incoming communication. Someone is very attracted to you. I feel you also have some really dope, news coming in really good news coming in about business about your business a lot of sales i see a lot of online sales transactions
and we got the Fuji's here. And remember I was saying sow your soul and she just said sow your soul for some secular. Muzak was whack. You can't create. You just wait to see. Yeah. And we about to talk about that energy. Don't you even go there. It's like a bee without a steer. We be like a think a leco. So this is called how many mics do we rip on a daily? Many, many. Send me, send many, many, many. All right. So, yeah. So this is like, as I was saying, this energy here, you have absolutely manifested something through your hard work. Turned your pain into power. That idea, whatever that creative idea, whatever it is that you're thinking right here, because that's what this is also. You know, this is like you being very co um, proactive, pardon me, um, because this empress is that entrepreneur. So that's a beautiful energy. This hangman. See how spirit is putting somebody, sitting somebody down so they can look at themselves. You know, maybe somebody is looking at um, their behavior being forced. Like like I said, because karma dharma will sit you down so you can reflect. And the one thing is that, you know, this person who could be very envious and jealous and stalking your life you know spirit is really like putting that divine f masculine or feminine that's meant to come towards you they, they're forcing them to look at things from another perspective you know um forcing them to look at this person this karmic in a whole new light you know um because when i see this green snake and i've seen the green snake on the two of cups i also see it here on the empress so I feel that this is the divine masculine or the divine feminine that's coming in. So it's just giving me that energy that this is the person that spirit is awakening. You know, this is spirit showing someone, you know, that the energy they're around, that karmic that they're around is not who they think they are. You know, this person could really be cooking up spells because the alchemist, you know, that represents also, you know, just like, you know, cooking up spells, using different herbs. Um, remember I, with uh, ghost face, we had nutmeg and I know nutmeg is used in a lot of protective um, spells. So maybe, you know, spirit is showing this person, you know, cause that's why spirit will put anyone in the sacrificial position of the hangman um, so that they can like, Get a different perspective, a more evolved perspective of a situation. Um, and so I feel strongly like somebody's receiving uh, karma for their behavior, for their action. Maybe bumping into the karmic was a part of their karma because they obviously had to learn, um, you know, to get rid of the attachments, the codependencies, the the um, superficialities, you know, Um and deal with people, you know, more sensitively, more empathically, you know. So let's tap in. So why is the alchemist six, the sixth contract? Yeah, I feel like somebody's ready to, you know, cancel this connection as well. Like end it rather, you know, it's like ending a relationship. They're reflecting on their relationship because this contract could be like someone saying, I'm divorcing you. I want to leave um, this apartment. I don't want to live here anymore. And that's probably why this person, you know, you know, proceeds with, uh, you know, doing these magic spells to keep someone stuck. So why is Herbal Kitchen, Alchemist, Contract, see that? The devil. I can't make this ish up, y'all. The devil. This person they're dealing with is the devil. This high priestess is the freaking devil, yo. I was picking up this energy. This 15, the 6, this is the person. This is another 6. 
So this person is dealing with someone who they are in some sort of contractual agreement, whether it be a marriage, whether it be living in the same home, sharing bills, being on the same lease. This person is realizing they are dealing with the devil, the, the devil himself. This is someone very evil spirited, someone who has a very convoluted mind, someone who's very calculating, very jealous, very envious, very controlling and manipulative, a master manipulator. And that's what that energy is. This person is realizing they love you. They're also healing and recovering from dealing with this person who's been poisoned in their ass with magic for the longest. So this person could be having some sort of spiritual purge. You know, they're protecting their energy. This is someone who's also going to express their truth and emote finally and say how they feel. This is someone coming in also to apologize to you and to admit their feelings. We got the far side running. So this could have been that runner, you know, if you was dealing with any type of connection, you know, twin flames, there's usually, you know, one is, you know, activated and the other is getting activated. So there's always that runner chaser dynamic. Someone was running from this connection with you because maybe they knew their feelings were super intense and they were afraid of them. But they're going to be running on back. And I feel with far side, I feel like this person is 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 further away from you than they like. And that's why I was picking up like somebody traveling to see you, someone wanting to see you. Like I feel this person is going to just kind of like shock you with a message just out of the blue. Just send you a message, shoot you a message. And that message is going to confess how they feel about you. Confess that they've been holding on to these feelings, these emotions. Confess that they can't stop thinking about you. Didn't I mention the tower? And there goes the tower. This person was deceiving themselves, holding back from you. All the while wanting to offer you love, but holding back. And I feel like in your own defense, you just also kind of held back. You didn't open yourself up for anything. You just kind of really protected yourself. Placed yourself in a protective bubble. This person is literally suffering from like monkey mind. Like dreaming of you thinking of you over analyzing the situation they got trapped with someone who duped them this is like they got trapped into some sort of burning house with a karmic that was you know that wasn't even their person this is someone who could have did love spells ran an interference in the connection and they was under the influence of the karmic for quite some time a lot of this was self-deception, seeing what they wanted to see, not paying attention to their intuition. You know, but they also discovered they were dealing with somebody very, very toxic. And now they're wanting to come toward you. This is the chariot. This is what they realize, like they are needing to make some changes. It's like they are having some sort of epiphany as to these feelings that they have for you. And it is love. And with far side, they was running away from something they want they want to now run towards. So with that Astara, as I said, Astara is the divine feminine in traditional I mean in the divine guidance deck. Astara is the Empress energy. And so I just felt intuitively like this was a masculine who is going through some sort of rebirth, same as their divine feminine because remember we saw 13 13 and remember 13 also flew out death which represents painful endings so they're going through karma you know for what they may have done to you or how they may have treated you um i feel like they received the same treatment you know they received it they bumped into you know themselves basically they attracted a like mind. They attracted someone who was also on player time, demon time. You know what I'm talking about? So with this Ace of Cups, this is what they're realizing. They want to offer you love. And remember, the Empress has this green snake. If you look at the hand, she has a green snake on her pinky finger. And so this is this person who's, you know, really seeing that you are, 
you off like your their cup runneth over for you i also feel this is a matter of divine timing you know as i say because this looks like a time piece to me on her wrist so let's see why is um why is incubation archangel gabrielle thank you spirit Ooh. and knight of cups see that they want to work together they want to work on rebuilding this connection rebuilding you know the trust this is someone who's really trying to figure out how to come in and offer you something real and tangible and they're definitely prepared to put in the work and look what we got playing right now when I said prepared to put in the work I looked over and we got I get the job done you know by Big Daddy Kane so this is what they're willing to do. They're not coming into play. They're not even coming in to waste your time. And the same King of Cups that was watching you before is still watching. They're in love with you. They're absolutely in love. You have, been, this person is a secret admirer, I feel. I feel like this person has been watching you, which is why those feelings have just been growing and growing and growing. Because usually, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But I feel like this person still keeps in contact in some way with you with your life with what's going on with you so they have some means of observing you at a distance and this is what this person envisions returning to work things out to repair the connection to express their feelings that they may not have ever confessed to having you know the king of cups is very suave very smooth you know that's that smooth operator you know but maybe this person has been working out the kinks to, you know, finally emoting. This is a very devoted king, very intentional king, very loving, very family oriented. And this is not the type of person that's going to be for everybody. They're about their family. They're about the household, the unit, you know. And so maybe that's another reason why this person was feeling obligated and compelled to sticking things out you know, with whoever they was with, their karmic. Give me one moment. I looked down, realized my charger wasn't in, and it was about to die. <laughs> I would have been butt hurt. Good Lord. All right. So with this King of Cups, definitely another intuitive energy. Remember, we had the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like this is somebody, you know, that is your suit. Yin to your yang, yang to your yin. You know, someone who, you know, matches your fly someone who speaks your love language so why is this high priestess and the yin and yang and the six of wands here because i do see a victory i see this masculine like being victorious and getting out of this toxic this toxicity like i said see that victorious stance it's like he's manifesting something new which is why he's not interested in what that is and the six and three of staffs represents the nine and the nine is like you know setting up boundaries being very hip to the game you know this is like somebody recognizing that someone is perpetrating a fraud pretending you know to have their good intentions i was hearing a salesman earlier so this is someone trying to sell someone a dream and this is this high priestess who is thinking they're way too smart for their own good but this person is equally in tune because they have angels that are protecting them as well. And they've also seen the light, the truth. They see someone for who they truly are. And next we have the four of cups. So someone has been longing for you. Someone has come into the realization like they've missed an opportunity. They could have let you go. You know, they could have moved on, left the situation. This could be your energy. You could have moved away. But now they're trying to figure out how to manifest you back, mustering up the strength, the courage, the wisdom. Also realizing they have love. Also realizing they want to offer love. They want to provide stability, security. They now see you as you truly are. Maybe they didn't see your worth, see your value. They didn't see this connection as one that could succeed or one that could thrive maybe they was really you know focused on as i said superficialities we have the king of staff here and so there's a king of staff this is someone very um 
I feel this energy is someone very my way, you know, or the highway. So this could be that energy of that controlling person, someone trying to control another person, control the narrative. Um, very, um, just someone who's very argumentative, you know, doesn't want to allow another person, you know, this is like that wandering eye, you know, just eyes are wandering constantly, no real commitment to anything other than what they desire. But this is truly Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So it's like, yes, this King, I feel like the King of Staffs is the one that could be like, because I feel they have some negative energy, you know, really negative type of energy around them. And it's like they are trying with all their might. You know, they're looking back to the past, reflecting, you know, realizing the mistakes, realizing where they messed up. But what I don't see here is any real desire to offer anything. With the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups, you definitely had someone trying to treat you like an option. And your intuition was way too sharp. And I feel it was that person who could have been stuck between the karmic connection and you. And now they're seeing where that relationship was very shallow, you know, very superficial. And they're sending you messages telepathically because that's a blue bird. And remember, the blue deals with the throat chakra. So they are still communicating with you telepathically. We have ghost face killer. And this is called Apollo Kids. So maybe they recognize and they were being childish. They were being immature. They thought having a lot of options was going to be, you know, that was that was the that was the sh isht. And that's why this judgment card is here, because I feel you all are going to have to make a judgment about this person, about the way they treated you, because this is someone that you walked away from. I feel this person has been like manifesting you back. I feel this person's feelings have been growing and intensifying. This is like they're having some sort of ritual, like, please, please bring my divine feminine, but divine masculine back to me, you know. As they realize you're the wish that the one that got away. And if you look, you got the sun right underneath that. So I feel like this person has had some epiphany, you know, and, and that's why justice showed up as well, because they received karma, too, for the way that they treated you. Not only will this person, the karmic that they're dealing with, who's doing all this black magic and voodoo shit have to deal with karma. But I feel like a part of their karma was dealing with this karmic, you know. But now they want to be a part of an equal give and take. You know, look at the sun, the hands, which represents the rays. It's like hands, giving, taking, giving, taking. It's like the sun is bringing in gifts. This person wants to come in bearing gifts. With this eight of cups, I just feel like this person wants to return to you and apologize. Let me get one more message. just want one more message. But I feel they, they know you're the one that got away. You know, and they're singing a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. They definitely, with this king of staffs here, this was somebody who was for everybody. You know, and they got caught up, got the seven of coins. So, yeah, that was someone you absolutely put in some time and energy with. Some of you all have already, like, you got some sort of ground. You, you, you are, like, um, some sort of roots with this person. So whether that be you met them on your block growing up as a child or maybe this is someone that you grew, um, went to school with or someone that you worked with, someone that you lived around, um, there's history here. 
And I feel like there was an attempt on your behalf to, I feel, you know, try to take things to the next level. But someone was so stuck in their head and not on their own accord, but because somebody was manipulating their energy. Um, and this confused them tremendously, confused them. They had a wandering eye. It was like they're, too much of anything isn't good for you. So I feel like they, they were listening to, as I said, like, you know, um, it was all about lust, you know, passion, you know, fire, desire, sex, you know. So this was a more of a, like a superficial connection. And they was up in their head about it, you know. I just feel somebody did some sort of love spell, and that's why that person was trapped. They were trapped because we did see... Uh, the justice card that showed up and it was like, you know, a voodoo doll and it had pins all in the heart. So it was like somebody really did a number on someone. But look what you have. You have a victory regardless. There's a major breakthrough. There's a major victory. We see clearly you're going to have success because prosperity is here. Blossoming abundance. So regardless of your haters, all these haters are still going to have to congratulate you. You're still moving forward, upward, and onward. And it's because you are the Magi. I, Magi Nation. And there goes that green again. So this could be either you or your person. We already have the alchemist. We already have the magician here. So this is showing me that there is, you know, that energy of you, um, you know, having the awareness. Your person also having the awareness that they could change their circumstance, change their situation. But this is a powerful powerful reading for the collective energy i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in if you found that the mes messages resonated for you i ask that you please be kind and just hit the subscribe button and definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload um if you are new i hope you stay a while if you are returning beloveds you already know what it is love is love is love until next time i send you a big fat ashe yo peace